My name is Pastor Brian K. Dees, Pastor of East Jerusalem Missionary Baptist Church, located here in Picayune, Mississippi. It is another Sunday morning that the Lord has blessed us to see. And on behalf of all of the saints here that labor in the Lord's vineyard at this church, I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we're happy to be able to make a, another presentation, just like we're in worship service. And we're just happy to be here with the blessings of the Lord uh, to make this presentation, uh, to make this presentation not only to the sons and daughters of this ministry, but to all of our sister churches and all of us that are out there uh, listening this morning. We just want to tell you thank you. Uh, before we go any further, I want to continue to ask for our prayers for all of the saints, all of the people around the world and in this nation and in the state of Mississippi and the city of Picayune that are suffering. Uh, during this pandemic that have lost loved ones uh, that are crying and hurting uh, in sorrow over the loss of loved ones that are sick uh, just want you to know that God is able there's a bomb in Gilead and he is a healer and it's going to be okay the Lord sees your tears and we're still praying for those in hospitals that are recovering we're praying for all of our health care workers those are on the front line uh, that are putting our lives in danger every day uh, for the welfare uh, and taking care of the needs of those that are, are dealing with this pandemic. We just want to tell them thank you and ask them for our prayers to the Lord to bless and keep all of them and their families. Remember in times like these, in times like these is when we really, really, really need a Savior and His name is Jesus. I want to thank the sons and daughters of this ministry, the labor and workers. God has kept us. He's brought us thus far by His saving grace and by the faith that we have in Him. And he'll never leave us up or forsake us, and we're going to keep on holding on. I want to let us know that we're con going to continue on uh, with uh, these presentations uh, with the help of the Lord until the Lord gives us uh, a further direction when it's safe and we can come back and congregate ourselves in the house of God. Until then, this is the way that the Lord has blessed us to do it. I want to thank everyone for your prayers. Thank you for your thoughtfulness. Thank you for your loving kindness. And I pray to the Lord today that these words that the Lord give me will help you, help us make it further on down the road. The theme for today is through it all. That is the theme, the thought for today. Through it all. Remember these words, through it all. And the scripture reading that I have for us is taken from uh, the 18th number of Psalm, verses 28 through uh, verse number 30. And it reads, For thou wilt light my candle, the Lord my light will enlighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my God I have leaped over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. His way is perfect. The way of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler or a shield to those that trust him. And I want us to know that this psalm that King David wrote, Psalm number 18, is a hymn of praise, celebration, and trust that King David sang unto the Lord when he had delivered him from Saul and from all of his enemies. King David was a child of God just like us. He had enemies just like we do. He that wanted to destroy him just like us. And just like him, we all have enemies. Our enemies are not always in the form of a physical person. Saul was the one that was attacking David. David had physical enemies that were trying to destroy his life. But all of us don't have enemies that are physically trying to attack us. But through it all, God is able. I want us to understand these are some of the enemies. These are some of the things that we deal with that the devil tries to attack, to attack us with in our walk with God. One of them is depression, anxiety, stress, sorrow, overwhelming grief and hurt, sadness and despair. These are some of our enemies. Broken marriages and relationships, family crisis, financial hardness and burdens, and addictions are some of our enemies. You ever had a given up spirit? 
a giving up spirit is how the devil tries to attack us. Don't know where else to go, who to turn to. Don't know where you can go and get some help or relief. But I have good news for you today. I have good news for us today. And his name is Jesus. We have a friend in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. Whatever you're going through in your life, take it to Jesus. I want us to know that today, this morning, I give you the words to this hymnal. And this is one of the hymnals that we relate to and refer to. This is like the song, the song that David sang in Psalm number 118 when he sang this song unto the Lord about his deliverance and how God protected him and he celebrated the joy that God gave him when he delivered him from all of his enemies. I want us to know that saying, when David sang Psalm 18 unto the Lord, praising and thanking and worshiping him, I want us to know that we can do the same thing. I encourage us to listen to the words, remember these words, like we remember the words of God and apply them to our life. Remember, God's word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. His word have I hidden in my heart. That's where it should be that we might not sin against God. Through it all, you ever heard the song through it all? You remember ever saying the words of the song through it all? Through it all, King David was saying to God when he sang, Psalm 18, through it all, you've kept me. Through it all, you brought me. Through it all, you watched over me. Through it all, you provided for me and delivered, you delivered me. And I can sing a song down in my, in my heart with joy and celebration to know that through it all, you've never left me. You've always been there. And through it all, the Lord is good, he's wonderful, and he's awesome. We as saints of God must do the same thing. Don't you know that? We as saints of God, sometimes if we don't do nothing but sing a song of praise unto the Lord while we're on bended knees calling on the name of Jesus, a song. That's what happened to me when the Lord gave me the words to, the, to this song, through it all. Through it all. And the words go just like this, saints of God. The songwriter said, I've had many tears and sorrows. I've had questions for tomorrow. There have been times I didn't know right from wrong. But in every situation, God gave me blessed consolation that my trials come only to make me strong. I thank God for the mountains and I thank him for the valleys. I thank him for the storms he brought me through. For if I'd never had a problem, I wouldn't know that he could solve them. I'd never know what faith in God could do. And so this is how we sing the chorus. Through it all, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Oh, through it all, sing through it all. I've learned to depend upon his word. Hallelujah. One more time. Through it all. Oh, through it all. I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Yeah, through it all. Oh, through it all. I've learned to depend upon his word. Through it all, God is able. Through it all, we've learned to trust in the Lord. Through it all, we've learned to depend on his word. When we go through these trying times, that we are in trying times, through it all, trust in God. Through it all, whatever you're going through, know that God is able to deliver and that he will take care of you. Jesus promised to be right there with us never to leave us or forsake us. Through it all, saints of God, surrender and give it up and give it all to Jesus. I pray for the families, the young, the old. I pray for marriages. I pray for the sick. I pray for the unemployed. I pray for the grieving, the incarcerated. I pray for our churches. 
our leadership, our nation, this world we're living in, and most of all, saints of God, know that I am praying for you. Hold on to your faith. Trust in the Lord. And know that through the storms that rage in our life, through the difficult times in our life, is an opportunity for God to show up and work a miracle. He wants to be glorified in our life. Through it all, hold on to your faith. Wait on Jesus. Trust in the Lord. Keep on hoping and believing in him, and he will bring you through. There is nothing too hard for God. Thank God for you. Again, to my church family, East Jerusalem Missionary Baptist Church, all of y'all that are out there listening this morning, pray and know that God loves you and that I love you too. Thank God. Bless you. Look to see you the next time. Amen.